This year, we will look at it for next year, but if it's included in the rate, you cannot receive any personal calls on it. If I'm correct. So the administrator would have to carry both phones. Um, we've already talked to the administration back last fall that um, to expect to provide their own cell phones next year. Okay. What well, can you explain to mm -hmm. You can, under a special package, your all of the electronics, including your cell phones, mm -hmm. can go under the contract, but it specifies that it has to be business use. But I thought it was like, if it was minimal personal use. Um, yeah. I, I think it is minimal, but you have to, the way the legal ranks say, you have to document those, so you would have to keep a log, and then you do receive a personal call. It would just require some additional paperwork. I think minimal, is, and that is the way the wording, but it would require uh, Our concern is that if you're busy and you're, you're working, what if you forget to log some of those, and then they do an audit and they find yeah. out, the district could have to repay. Okay. So I don't see any way to do that, except people just pick up their cell phone calls. Right. Okay. There's no way to police that at all. Uh, they do. They do audit for you. Do they? Yes. Well, that's what they do. Absolutely. Oh. And uh, take back money, so we have to. We're very careful with anything like that. Okay. Okay. Do we just look for the extra discount? So, all yes. right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor? Um, approval of the contract with Pell Industries. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. Now, my, my one question, 
Um, one question is, um, like, I think it said the booster clubs. Any and everybody would be eligible to go through them and get better rates than other companies. Is that what I'm understanding also? Like, if, if, if student body wanted to order prom t-shirts or what, would they go through them? I think it's probably what this is mainly for, and apparently we've been doing this for several years. Uh -huh. Mr. Dev, new principal, he came to me with it, and I said, wait a minute, that needs to go to the board because it's a contract. And apparently it's just been done in the past, and it didn't come to the board. But the Pell, um, Pell Industries provides the T-shirts and the other stuff at Walmart, came on right. those things. And to do that, that's our logo. They paid a royalty back to the high school, basically, I believe, that goes into your club accounts. So this is just formalizing that agreement so we can continue to get that 8 I think it's 8%? 8%. Right. Sure. So just technicality we have to have on there. Okay. It's just like if we had a Kmart, <laughs> which they used to, yeah. they sold, you know, bear catch, you know, jerseys, we, we would get 8%. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Do I have a motion to accept the student releases and acceptances? Motion. Second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Do I have a motion to accept the resignation and retirees? Motion. Second? Second. I tell you what, there's a whole bunch of years mm, there, yeah, of there is. people um, in here. And I mean just uh, Mark Gibson, I moved from a long time ago. There's only one I Pat see. Pat Skelly. Both of them Well, just her alone, her years. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. The big brain. She started at five. At five. <laughs> there you go. Good, Christy. I love it. <laughs> 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 We're not going to be able to fill all those positions. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I, I applaud all of these. Uh, very sad to see each and all of y'all go. I, I tell you, uh, been an asset to our district. We will miss you, and I hope you enjoy retirement. Oh, okay. you can come back and visit us. <laughs> you cannot be replaced. Remember when you taught me in second grade? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be sent to the principal's office. No, he's going to be sent to the alternative. You know, three months I'm going to be without a contract. You better watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Okay. Um, do I have, let's see, now we're down to, we have that be eight. All right, number eight. Do I have them? No, these are all discussion, never mind. <laughs> okay, no, no motions. All right, the election of the school board officers, the, um, the, the all of them. The personnel well, yeah, that is, added. that is not information. You're okay. asking the change in minutes, so. Well, that's an action, I mean, action item, because okay. we are going to have to vote. It's just well, information when I got to step out, that's what I can. Right. Right. 8B is just a change in the technical wording of it. Voted on it. Change the personal sign. Oh, 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 I'm it? sorry, I missed. Uh, that was 7. seven yeah, we didn't set, we had done 7B yet. Mm -hmm. The 7B was additional. Yeah, you're using the res re 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 resignation and retirement, but you didn't get to yeah. the change. So that's when I got to recuse myself on that one. Sandy, that was. I knew you did. Yeah, I just had to remind you. Look at it since I didn't look at it. Sitting in front of you. Just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. away. Okay, I've read it. Not that I understand it already. Okay. It's a technical change. You voted on, he is teaching an extra class. Okay. And rather than assigning a teacher, we're paying him for an extra class, which is, I believe, one-eighth of his salary. And we do this, we've done this 
a lot of times over the past for maternity leaves or whatever it was. This was just we last summer we made the decision to to hire you approved it in your budget, but then this is the person who's doing it. At the January meeting when we voted on this, we incorrectly said we were paying him for math block. The math block is during the day, he's using his planning period. What we technically have to pay him for is his planning period where he has to be at school from seven to eight in the morning. Because he has to have a planning period. So we're paying for him his extension of the day. And Jenna, if you if you have questions, this is just to make it absolutely correct on the personnel side for payment. Okay. Nothing's changed from what you did before except the technicality of paying for a planning period. Okay. Right, do I have a motion to accept the change in the personnel assignment? Motion. Second. 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 Any more further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed? Y'all want to leave Tim back there? Yeah. <laughs> no, just keep on going. Fast, fast, fast. Really? Oh. I thought you were going to Um, our current policy states that we elect our officers after the city appoints a member. They have not appointed a member. So, do you want to wait until that is settled, or do you want to take care of that now? Well, the issue is, is that being that our president, who is uh, the individual who's outgoing, mm -hmm. if we wait until they elect a member, then we don't have a president. Well, we have a vice president. That was saying, well, that's consideration to you. I'll be working in. We uh, I guess that'd be bad. That doesn't make a point. It doesn't matter. You want to, to wait until the end of each way. To wait. Do I have a motion to attend until the appointment of the school board member? But you, you, you actually don't have to act. You don't have to act. If you're not, not going to change anything. This, this is just opinion. I mean, if you all just don't act, you just don't act. It, and it, you don't get spanked if you don't hold an election. You just, you know, you continue status quo. So, you know, unless it gets put on the agenda and, and there's nominations and elections, it just gets, it just doesn't occur. Okay. All right. All right. Um, the MSBA annual conference overview. You attended? I guess I did. Uh, our, I attended the uh, MSBA. Wait a minute, can we pay you attend? You don't pay me to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I attended the annual conference uh, that took place Monday through uh, today, and I came back to hang out with you guys. Thanks. Be happy about that. Um, some things that's going to occur. Uh, of course, you. I'm sure everyone is aware that uh, uh, the legislators are looking at charter schools. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the Senate has already passed a version that is. The Senate has already passed a version that has gone to the House, and of course, there has been some discussions on a House version. We have no idea what the situation is. Matter of fact, at one o'clock today, I think the committee had a meeting, and I don't know what the outcome was because I was in a meeting and came down. But the bottom line is everybody is expecting there to be some version of a charter school for school year uh, 2013, i.e. beginning 1 July this year. And of course, uh, with the the way things are, uh, MSBA's uh, position on that is that if charter schools are implemented, then the control of those charter schools should be under control of the local school board. However, uh, many people do not expect that to occur because 
if the legislators are putting charter schools in because of failing schools, why would they put a new system under the people who cannot control the systems that exist? 